Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineers Tech Hub channel. So in this video, we will discuss how to crack a client round interview for Google. Okay. So many of them, you are working in the service based company like Bipro, TCS and Google is your client and you are getting the call to you have a client round interview for the Google. Okay. So this video, I will explain regarding automation testing profile. So basically, uh, in automation testing profile, the uh, they are expecting you having the very good coding skill. Either you are from Java background, either you are from Python background, either you are from JavaScript background. So mostly you are totally they are looking for how you are good in coding a skill. First of all, you have to know very basic thing. You know, it's like they will give you some scenario based question, or I can say if they will ask you some question like you have to write a code to like i can say print a uh, number of character right so just i'm giving one example right as a experienced guy should not write a simple code you have to create a functionality if you are a beginner you will not understand what i'm trying to say but you are experienced person you are already doing the practice then you will understand what you meaning of functionality functionality means you have to create a method and that method i can reuse anywhere in our project so you have to write the code like this not you have to write the code in the simple way you can write in the simple way they will might will check the logic as well but if you will write uh, the code in a uh, in a you can create a functionality and you are following some coding a standard and uh, 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 as well so what will happen this is this this all the things we having the very good impression in front of the interviewer okay so do not write in a simple manner creating a class main method and all you have to create a simple method so mostly if you are from java background they will focus on your collection part they will focus on your how you are good in the string how good in your book concept they will focus on this part and logical part right so this all the things you have to take care apart from that you have to also know the agile process they will also focus on your what is your last project you have worked right if you can highlight your some uh, you know challenges thing over there so that will also helpful for your interview they will ask what type of the challenges you have faced in your last project right so this all the things you have to take care and agile process you should know very well the agile process as well they will ask you some testing concept as well right you have to also know some testing you know basics concept okay like types of the testing what types of the testing you have done and all right this all the things for automation perspective 80 percent they will focus on your how you are good in the coding coding part apart from that for selenium perspective might be they will ask you some expert related to things and all because selenium we having the you know all the topic is static it's not a dynamic yeah might be they will ask you some scenario based question so this is what uh, i'm going to uh, discuss about of that so again it depend upon your panel guys so every panel is not same okay so panel what they will think and all but if you are attending the automation profile means you having the very good coding skill and also some they will ask you the features of java 8 as well so you can learn java 8 as well okay so lastly what i can say totally you have to focus on your programming skill so many of them are <laughs> struggling to learn the programming and all okay so you should not worry about of that okay so we having the many content you will get generally if you are from java background you can follow some java concept of the day if you that level of the coding you will do then you having the some basics understanding how to think the logic okay then you can go for a hacker rank you will get some scenario based coding and all so if you will do this type of the practice you will not stuck over there might be uh, they are changing some few requirements but almost you will get the repeated code but you have to think at the new requirement how to write the code okay so that's it in this video guys if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification and i have uploaded many video related to interview question and answer you can just go and you can explore my uh, channel playlist you will get many things so please do not forget to subscribe my channel and press bell icon okay so see you in the next video bye bye